Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 62, Invitation Codes. Invitation codes can be used for two main purposes. To link new portal users with an existing contact record, or to provide additional web rules to existing portal users. In my experience, the first scenario is used much more frequently. The first scenario is often used during the launch of a new portal, when a large number of contact records already exist for the people who will be using the portal. Typically, if you've enabled open registration, the portal registration process will create a new contact. However, if that person already exists in your CDS database, you don't want another contact record. You want their login associated with that existing contact. To do that, you create an invitation code and send it to them via email. In that email, they'll receive a link that will take them to the portal and allow them to authenticate using the configured identity provider. Once logged in, the user will be associated with the existing contact record. In order for this process to work, each contact must receive a unique invitation code. Therefore, you must select single as the type. Group invitations allow you to send the same invitation code to multiple people. In that case, the assumption is that the user already can log into the portal, but you want to grant them another web role using the assigned to web roles relationship. Either type of invitation code also allows you to assign the contacts to an account when it is redeemed, and to execute a classic workflow on the contact. This is useful to perform additional business logic on redeemed contacts. The invitation code model relies on classic workflows and custom workflow activities to function. Once the invitation record has been created, you can see the code on the Advanced tab. To send out the invitation, leverage the Send Invitation workflow. I recommend that you customize the email that is generated in this workflow to match the brand and tone of your organization. During the launch of a new portal, to send out mass invitation codes, I typically build another workflow that creates the invitation record for an individual contact and runs the send invitation workflow. Then I run this workflow on each contact I want to invite. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 62 on invitation codes useful.